Well, hi everybody, this is Angelo Quinones, and welcome to election 2020, the polls, the electoral college. And um, let's check this out. Uh, you see Biden in blue and Trump in red. Okay, you understand? So let's check out all the states. I mean, it's basically, I mean, you know, let's say the 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 14, 16, 20... 26, 30, 36, 40, 45, 50, okay? And um, so that's just the deal. So let's check it out, okay? I want to I wanna see this, okay? Let's blow up the print here, okay? And let's go um, to the uh, this side first, uh, the, you know, where it has Alabama. Let's check this out. Not in the blue... Alabama is being led by Trump by a count of 57 to 37 percent. Okay, now it doesn't have the, the the only thing that I don't like about this app. Well, let me see before I speak. Okay, lead Trump. Okay, uh, plus 20. All right, um, poster. And let me check this out, though, because I want to see how many uh, electoral points. You know, update uh, data 10-5. So that's, I mean, that's, a, that's, that's two weeks ago, though. So this is kind of old. I wish it was up to date. But anyway, so Alabama is being led by President Trump by 57 to 37%. Let's go on here, and I hope I can scroll down without any difficulty, okay? Well, let's check out um, Arizona. Now, that's a, that's that. Let me tell you something. That is a critical state. Okay. It's being led by Joe Biden by the count of 51 to 45 percent. That's a big lead. That's a big lead. It's not a one point lead or two point lead. Okay. This is above the margin of error. Okay. You understand? All right. So, um, so that's the that's the deal. Now, let's check out, okay, California. Well, that's just, you know, that's a landslide for the Democrats. I mean, 62% to 36%. 62 to 36. I mean, that's, that's, you know, that's accurate. Okay. I mean, you know, the Democrats always win California. Okay. So, that's just, so it's a blue state. And it's a 26-point um, uh, lead for Biden. So, so far, he carries two states there in this, in this uh, map. Let's check out Connecticut. Now, that should be uh, for the blue column, 64. Uh, remember, the blue column has to do with the Democrats. Uh, 64 to 34. So that's basically like California. That's, that's, a, that's, you know, that's not even close. Let's check out uh, District of Columbia. And then Joe Biden is leading. That is not even a contest. 88% do I mean, it's off the screen. It doesn't even, it doesn't even register. Okay, I mean, 88% to, to God knows what. Okay, 78-point lead. But probably 10, you know, 10. Why, did, why didn't they just write 10 there? So let's say 88 to 10%. Okay. So that's, that's for... Um, ah, that's for... Joe Biden. Let's check out Georgia. Okay, Georgia. And that has Biden... Uh, in a statistical tie. Okay, with Trump. 45% to 45%, okay? Large margin of error, though, okay? Large margin of error. So that is a tie. It says over here, T-I-E. So Georgia is a tie. Let's look at, uh, let's look at Idaho. Idaho is being won by Trump by a count of 59% to uh, 39%, okay? 39%. Now take into question, take take it take it to heart that this was before the 
I, no, no, actually it was after the first debate. First debate was um, actually uh, September 29th, so I'll take that back. So Idaho is being won by Trump. Okay, 50, 59% to 39%. Okay, fine. Well, let's go to Indiana. I want to know this one. Indiana is being won by Trump by a count of 49% to 42%. So I guess that's, you know, that's safe. Uh, Kansas, again. Slight lead for uh, Trump. Eh, not really slight, but 53%. To 46%. Okay, so uh, basically, um, basically a, a seven point uh, lead there. Now let's check out uh, Louisiana. Louisiana is being won by Trump by a count of 54% to 36%. Okay, this is, this is very interesting. Maryland. So far, Joe Biden has a whopping 61.6% to 30.3 lead. It's not even an issue. It's not even close. 31 points, uh, 31 point lead for Biden. Michigan. You understand what I'm saying? Michigan, and that's a that's a big. I mean, you know, that's a that that that's important. Michigan is important, guys. Fifty-one percent for um, Joe Biden to forty-four percent. Okay, so that's that's a, that's a very comfortable lead. Okay, now Mississippi, Mississippi is being won so far by Trump by a count of fifty-nine percent to thirty-nine. Let's check out the state of uh, Montana. Well, Trump is winning Montana by a count of 51% to 44%. All right, Nebraska. That's being won by Trump by a count of 53% to 45%. Okay, and he has a... a uh, Eight point lead. That's that's healthy. It's a healthy lead. Now, New Hampshire is being won by Joe Biden by a count of fifty one percent to forty one percent. That's a safe lead. That's okay, very safe. Trump is not going to overcome that. All right, let's check out New Mexico. New Mexico is being won by uh, Joe Biden. By a count of 53.5% to 39, I'm singing here, folks, 39.4%. That's a whopping 14% lead. I mean, that's the, this, uh, this stage of the game, uh, that's, that's a very comfortable lead. And, and you can put that in the column of safe for Joe Biden. Now, North Carolina, now this is a critical state, critical. So far, Joe Biden is winning 50%. To forty-seven percent, so nice lead, nice lead, but not a great lead. Nice lead, though. Ohio, Ohio is being oh, well. That, that's a that's 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 Biden is winning by two percent in Ohio. No Republican has ever won the White House without taking Ohio. So it's 48 to 46 percent for Joe Biden. Okay. Okay. Oregon. Oregon is being won by Joe Biden by a whopping 60 percent to 38 percent. 22 percent lead for Joe Biden and Kamala. Uh, <laughs> now it says uh. It says over here, Rhode Island. Rhode Island, okay, is being dominated by the Democrats. 68 to 31%, and that's a 37% lead for Joe Biden. South Dakota. South Dakota <laughs> is being won by Trump. 
by you know by a count of 54 to 44 percent that's a 10 point lead he should be happy Texas uh oh Texas is close guys Texas is close last time I heard not to put a Texan accent to the deal it was 47 to 47 percent this was 15 days ago actually this was about uh, 20 days ago this is a statistical chai. I wish you could update this thing. You understand what I'm saying? Trump is only leading Texas. By, did you hear me? <laughs> By 49 to 47%. I mean, why, why? This map was unheard of in the Bush era. Unheard of during my John McCain's era. Even though he, he lost. You know, just, you know, he lost. This was unheard of by, uh, the, you know... The, Bush Senior and uh, Reagan. I mean, you know, Nixon. I mean, it's unheard. I mean, just, 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 uh, he damaged the Republican Party, guys. I mean, uh, the old Republican Party is saying this in the Senate. You might see a bloodbath, politically speaking, in Election Day. That even close. Vermont, you know Joe Biden has taken that by a whopping hamburger lead of 67%. To 32 measly points by the millionaire Trump. Sorry, can't buy your way to the White House again. Can't do it. Can't cheat your way through this time. All right, Washington. Well, why he's in Washington, he still can't win. Okay, Joe Biden is leading Washington by a count of 60 to 37 percent. Guys, can't make it up. 23 point lead. Wisconsin. Oh, swing state. Fifty-two mm percent -hmm. <laughs> to forty-four percent. You can see that's a good lead for Joe Biden. All right, let's go to the right. No pun intended. Get it? The right and the left. <laughs> okay, let's go here. All right, guys, let's check it out. Out, out, out. I see. That uh, Trump has a six-point lead in Alaska. You ever heard of uh, Abbott and Costello, that movie, uh, uh, Alaska? Something Alaska. I forgot the movie, though. I mean, it should be a shame. Well, Joe Biden has 39%, and, uh, you know, those, uh, those critters in Alaska has uh, Trump in the lead. Well, you know, by, uh, you know, they have him 45%, so he's leading, actually, by 6%. Six, uh, 6%. It's okay. He'll take that. He, he's losing, so he'll take anything. Uh, Arkansas. Ar isn't that uh, Clinton country? Arkansas? Well, then Joe Biden is losing miserably. It's 34%. I mean, God, he needs Clinton there. I mean, where's Clinton's face? Goodness gracious. That's the, that's the, that's the, that's the land of the saxophone. I mean, come on. They need the Clintons there. They need the, the, the clan. 34% for old Sleepy Joe. <laughs> According to Trump. I love Joe. I'm a, I'm a Democrat. 34% for Joe Biden. And, uh, 50, what? 58% for, for, uh, Trump. 24% lead. Not that bad. Not that bad, 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 bad. Colorado. Colorado sees Joe Biden at 51%. To the measly, uh, 43 percentage uh, points by, uh, not percentage points, but actual points. All you know, by Trump, though. Biden's in the lead by 8%. Notch that down. Delaware. Delaware sees Joe Biden in the lead by 50, uh, what was it? I mean, this is just so high. I mean, I just... just Goodness gracious, 54%? To 33%? I mean, that's not fair. 21% lead, um, point lead uh, by uh, Joe Biden of Florida. Ah, Denise Lanier. I mean, here you go. <laughs> there you go. Come on, Denise. You got to go out and vote. You got to go out and vote, kid. Well, Joe Biden has the lead. Okay? 50% to 45%. Sorry, Denise. Yeah, I know. I know. Hawaii. 
Ah, the land of the volcanoes. All right, so that's uh, 61 percent for Joe, for Joe Biden. I thought he was losing. I thought Hawaii was being won by. Uh, wait a minute, how is Joe Biden winning Hawaii? I think I got Hawaii mixed up with with with, with uh, um with uh, Alaska. I mean, it's just so opposite. I mean, opposite country. I mean, a city, a state. I mean, you know, 61 percent to to 20 to what? 20 to 20 percent? I can't I hardly see it on the screen. All right, guys. I mean, a 33. Wow, it's like Burger King for God's sakes. I mean, you can't take it. All right, uh, Illinois. We always say Illinois. Why is why is the S there? Sixty percent for Joe. You can see that he's winning a lot of states. I mean, Joe Biden is in the lead. He's in control. All right. All right. So sixty point. Uh, yeah, sixty percent lead for Joe. Not sixty percent, but but Joe Biden has sixty percent. To the Rocket Man's uh, thirty-seven percent. He had the Rocket Man on. Rocket Man. He gets, he's losing by twenty-three. What happened? All right, so you got, uh, what's that? Loa, what's that? I never heard of that state. Well, I mean, Joe Biden has 45% and Trump has 45%. It's a statistical tie. I mean, goodness gracious. Kentucky, the old home of, uh... I was going to say Gail Ripplinger, but <laughs> it's just the deal. I mean, Mitch McConnell, the one who wanted to stand by and let everything go to hell. He wanted to see how the economy was doing, you know, in the midst of a virus. I mean, he didn't want to, he, he said everybody was staying home, making making millions of dollars. No, well, I mean, it's not that, though. I mean, nobody wants to work. Got to get them critters uh, back to work. I mean, you know, what is Mitch McConnell doing? Got vacations in uh, October, vacations in July, vacations in uh, August. What the hell is he doing? He ain't doing nothing. The Heroes Act was on the desk of the Senate, and they didn't do a damn thing about it. I mean, it was there since May the 15th. It's October the 23rd, guys. That's a stinking, that's a stinking five months. They ain't doing nothing to the blood of Kentucky. Wow. Oh. All right. Well, Trump has a 50, 56 uh, to uh, 39 point lead. You can see that's safe. I mean, goodness gracious, a 17 point lead, Kentucky. Mean. That's being won by my buddy and pal Joe Biden by 50 to 40 percent. At 50, that's a 54. That's a, that's a 10 point lead. 10 point lead. Mark it up. Massachusetts. Land of uh, Tom Brady. Oh, he left. I'm oh, sorry about that. I mean, he went to, you know, Tampa. I mean, you know, goodness gracious. I thought they never never going to go to part. Him and uh, Belichick. Couldn't beat Eli Manny though in the Super Bowl 42, Super Bowl 46. Came back, took the lead two times. Now, he would have had eight rings by now. How many rings does, does, does he have? Like nine, like seven rings or something like that? That's ungodly. All right, that's enough of Tom Brady. But Joe Biden is the Tom Brady of this state. 69 to uh, 20. Percent, I think something like that. You understand what I'm saying? About 40 points. I mean, God, it's like, it's like, uh, it's like uh, the 2007 uh, uh, season again. It's almost a perfect, perfect season. Goodness gracious! All right, uh, Minnesota. Oh, how about this? Joe Biden is in the lead, 49 percent to 44 percent. I'll take that. And this is uh, the state of Missouri, land of J.W., Mark from Missouri. Oh, sorry, he can't vote. He's a J.W. I mean, can't vote, though. Completely useless. Can't vote. Because he's a Jehovah's Witness. Can't vote, my old buddy and pal. Mark from Missouri. 
Well, you got 43%. Uh, let me see, 52%. 52% to 43%, Donald Trump is in the lead. It's a, it's a, it's a commanding lead. I'll give him that, the old, the old goat. All right. And when I mean old, I mean old. I mean, you know, the 74 years old. I mean, goodness gracious. I mean, you know. I mean, I just, I... Now, now, now it says a national, though. This is a national poll. National poll. Well, I see the national poll has Joe Biden in the lead by ten points, fifty-two to forty-two uh, percent. I mean, this is this is this is bad. I mean, this is bad, guy. I mean, this is this the national poll, though? Well, what kind of poll is this? A poll up I mean, you know, uh, CNBC. Change, uh, I don't know, it was just uh, CNBC, I mean, you know, I wonder if CNN is here. <laughs> I mean, Donald Trump, I mean, you know, he's having a meeting at the Oval Office. I mean, uh, it might be time to, you know, to uh, get some new furniture in there. I mean, fumigate the White House, you understand what I mean? All right, Nevada. <laughs> Oh, this is delicious. Joe Biden didn't leave in Nevada by 2%, 44 to 42%. I mean, I mean this, is, this is going on. New Jersey. Well, now you know the Democrats are in the lead. 55.4, what is it? No, yeah, yeah, no. 55.4% to 35.6%. So uh, Biden has a twenty-point lead in New Jersey. I mean, doesn't doesn't Donald Trump have has a doesn't he have a golf uh, golf uh, what do you call it uh, club in uh, New Jersey or something like that? I uh, wasn't he raising money at the, at New Jersey and he's still losing though. <laughs> he's just kind of making up though, guys. All right, New York. I mean, it's not even fair. Joe Biden has 61% to uh, Donald Trump's 29%. Okay? And even if he gets gets the other, uh, what do you call it? Um, that would be a 90%. Even though he gets the other 10% and, and, and puts him at a 39%, so what? Can't even make it up. That's, that's lost. New York was the last state there, guys. All right. But you see, this is the overwhelming thing right here. And I'm going to get another app to boot. Now, I, 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 <laughs> this is amazing. This is like war. I mean, right over here, you got Joe Biden. I mean, you got the pictures of these two guys. 51.2% to 42.7%. Uh, you see Joe Biden in the lead in several states. I mean, it's a statistical tie in Texas, guys. I mean, if he listen, if Joe Biden wins Texas, according to CNN, it's probably over. There's no, I mean, you can't say there's no possible path to, you know, 270. I mean, you know, I mean, you know, crazier things that happen. But I'm just saying, I mean, Joe, I mean, I mean, that's why he said, I mean, um, probably said this. Donald Trump, when uh, Joe Biden was talking about the oil, oh, Ohio, he's coming after your oil wells, oh, Arizona's coming after your oil wells, oh, Texas coming after your oil wells, so you shouldn't be tied with me. Huh? I mean, I'm just saying, this is fun, guys. Well, the only thing I can say is go out and vote. Don't be scared to vote. Don't be intimidated at the polls. You got law enforcement that are ready, willing, and able uh, to be and to come to these polls if need be and when you put your um, you know ballot in the box okay I mean I think that they said that if you have an affidavit you know uh, that could that could help uh, also okay uh, even if even if something something may go wrong that you maybe uh, didn't you know uh, dot the I's or cross the T's of everything. I mean, if you have an affidavit that you actually, you know, uh, 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 did everything, 
I mean, uh, you, listen, if you, if you do it every, everything right, listen to the instructions, your vote is going to count. That's all there is to it. Don't let any other country uh, put you down, scare you with emails or whatever the case may be. You have the power, okay? United we stand, divided we fall. I mean, you have the power to change this election, okay? This is the most important election since 1960. I mean, the only other election that I can recall that was just as important as this election was um, the 1960 election between uh, Nixon and Kennedy. And that was a close election right there. You know what I mean? I mean that was close. So, I mean, you have the power. You have the power of, the, uh, of you know, many people have died um, before us so we can go out and vote. And that goes for African Americans. That goes for women. That goes for Spanish people. I go that, that goes for everybody. Your vote counts. Just go out and vote your heart. Vote your gut. And uh, I'm not going to endorse anybody now, though I am a Democrat, but I'm not going to endorse anybody now. Joe Biden is in the lead. Um, I just think that he deserves to, to, to win. I mean, that's just my feeling, that he's been in, in um, government for, for about 47 years. And um, he, he, he's not perfect. Neither is Trump. But I think he deserves a chance. And I think this is the last chance that Joe Biden is going to ever get. Uh, to, to, I mean, if he can't make it now... During a pandemic and during uh, the economy uh, almost about to crash, if there's no stimulus uh, uh, going out, I mean, he will never win. And it's just forget about it. I mean, some people never uh, come back. OK, Nixon uh, tried to uh, come back and he did. But look what happened to him. So, I mean, um, you know, Carter. I mean, I don't know if you can come back after uh, one uh, term if you're allowed to come back. I, I, are, are you allowed to come back? I would like that in, in uh, actually in my uh, commentary uh, board. Are you allowed to come back if you just make it for one term? Are you allowed to come back the next uh, after four years and, and run again? Because you didn't, you didn't, you know, complete your your, your terms. You know, your 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 you didn't complete the other term. So you only got two terms. I mean, so I don't know that. I mean, are you allowed to come back? Was Carter, Jimmy Carter, allowed to come back? He only won one term. Um, I don't know. I mean, but the thing is that you have to raise up your a lot of money because a lot of people are going to say, well, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm not going to damage the Republican Party by voting this guy, uh, by, by endorsing this guy again. He's damaging the Republican Party, not according to Angelo Quinones, according to some uh, senators. Allowing a um, you know reality show uh, a TV host to become president of the United States probably wasn't a good idea, according to some senators. Okay, some senators have said that. Okay, and that that was going to be a bloodbath, uh, politically speaking. Okay, in election uh, day, I mean uh, the, the Democrats might sweep everything, might uh, con- might keep control of the House of Representatives, might control the Senate. And my uh, control of the White House. This is Angelo Quinones giving glory to God the Father, to the Lord Jesus Christ, and in the Holy Spirit. Okay, so uh, go out and vote. Don't be intimidated. Don't be scared. Don't think that your vote is gonna is not gonna count, because if ten thousand people or fifty piece, fifty thousand people think like like that, I mean that that's fifty thousand people that stayed home, and that could be the difference of somebody winning or losing by by twenty thousand votes or ten thousand votes or a tie, and then it has to go to uh, you know it has to go to the Supreme Court. And if, if, if those people, 50,000, would have voted, or either way, I mean, it wouldn't have gone to the Supreme Court, okay? So, um, your vote counts, but collectively, you know? It counts collectively. I mean, one piece of rice on a plate, okay, I mean, that's not going to satisfy your hunger, okay? But if you have, you know, a, a thousand pieces in the bowl, that's going to satisfy your hunger. Okay, take care, guys. Bye-bye now. Uh, please leave me a commentary, and uh, and I hope you enjoyed uh, this. Um, look at the polls. Look at the polls. Thank you, guys.